Is this an addition or replacement? Why? If the person doesn't know, don't embarrass them. Just move on. When would you like to fill the position? Non-threatening question and should be easy for the screener to answer. Who will be doing the initial interviewing? Again, you need to know, and it tells you who the next step is with. Remember, after about 20 minutes, any telephone screening, interview begins to get old. So, about the time you sense it, say something like, based on what we have discussed, my experience and background fit well. When can we get together? If the interviewer, screener says, well, we will get back to you if we are interested. You now have the hiring authority's name, so call that person and state that you had a telephone conversation with underscore. Tell that person that you fit what the company is looking for and you'd like to meet with him or her face to face. If the telephone screener is the hiring authority, which happens 50% of the time, your questions can be a lot more professional and direct. You don't have to worry as much about embarrassing him or her with what he or she doesn't know. Your goal is to still sell the face-to-face -face interview the next step. But you can still have a good conversation on the telephone if you ask questions. Again, don't eliminate yourself over the phone. And again, when you ask questions, you control the interview. In the next section, we will discuss initial interview questions you can ask that make you look good when the interviewer is the hiring authority. You can ask some of the same questions when you are on the phone with the hiring authority. The difference is that when you are on the phone, you will want to close for the face-to-face -face interview faster. It sounds like we need to get together, face-to-face. -to -face. Would tomorrow afternoon work for you?